right, so I've got another example. Um, this one's a little bit different. It says, for a 5 and 12 dilution, what is the ratio of serum to saline? So again, the serum they're referring to is the concentrate. And the saline would be the solvent or diluent. So what you're diluting with. All right. <clears throat> so the 5 and 12 dilution, again, it means five parts of whatever the concentrate is. So in this case, it, we're calling it serum to the total volume, um, 12 parts total volume. All right. So five parts serum to 12 parts total volume. That's the information they give us. But what they're asking us for now is a ratio of serum to saline. So the volume of the serum to the volume of the saline. So do we see the difference here? So the total volume, the 12 they give us here, includes not only the saline, but also the serum. It's everything added together. So if we have five parts serum, how many, can we figure out how many parts saline we will have? So the total volume is going to be the five parts serum plus the um, saline will give us the total volume, which, whoops, they told us was 12 parts total volume. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to call my saline, I don't know why, but you could leave it as saline. So 5 plus y will get, should give me 12. That means if I subtract 5 from both sides, my, the amount of saline I have, I, ha I should have seven parts saline. So if I want to have the ratio of serum to saline, right, I'm going to have five parts serum to seven parts saline. And how you can check this, this should add up five plus 12 should give us our total, total volume. So that's the ratio of serum to saline. Um, different than the dilution that they give us of 5, 5 and 12.